You know, back when this monitor was first bought, it was bought for this computer. That's just the front bezel. And the operating system that had was that. Microsoft Windows XP Home Edition. This one right here. In 2003, that's when we bought the Optima. And it had, as I just said, Windows XP Home Edition. Service Pack 1. So this was definitely a long time ago. 2002 there. And, um... I know the custom build, it's 2013, it's 10 years late, it's got Windows 7, and i3, 8 gig of RAM, so on and so forth. But, um, how about we take one last look at Windows XP and um, see what the difference is between Service Pack 1 and Service Pack 2 and 3 in the boot up. From the optical drive. This is going to be uh, installing. Windows XP and so on. And, uh, yeah, it's probably going to be quite a long episode. Episode, video, whatever you want. So, uh, yeah, we're going through the good old days of Windows XP. Imagine how fast it's going to be with an i3. Come on, the i3, it'll only detect 3.5 gig of RAM, but still, that's a lot for uh, this day and age. Well, that day and age with uh, Windows XP. So since this is now an XP computer, we put the XP sticker right there. So now it's got Windows XP. It's official. Um, I would use my tripod, but um, as you would know from my last video, it is broken. Yeah. Hi, Qua. Obviously, I'm not going to be using XP as my main OS, reason one. And, you know, as we all know, as of a few days ago, April 8, it, uh, you know, she's gone, she's Microsoft ended support. And, yeah. This is, has to be the most boring part of the setup. Just there doing nothing. So, uh, when we get to the interesting part, I'll get back to yours. Hopefully with a tripod. Alrighty! So, here we can either quit setup, which, no. Repair our Windows XP setup, no, because the Windows 7 setup needs to be repaired. This is a hard drive that was in that, well, one of the multiple. So, we're going to press Enter on our backlit keyboard. And, as you can see there, Windows XP on a licensing agreement now, so uh, it is. I just poke my monitor, but it is F8, I agree. So, uh, where's F8? There it is. Windows XP Home Edition setup. Um, I honestly haven't installed XP in whew, years. Uh, delete partition. Yes. Continue. L. Enter, install, delete, delete this one as well. Oh, whoops, it's L. Alrighty. So, um, whew, I nearly deleted the games. Whoops. That would have been a pain in the ass. Alright, so we're going to install it on this one. Do the quick format. And let's bore ourselves to death. Hmm. Go on quick. Last time I installed XP was on a P4 machine, so... Yeah, so that was fairly quick. Now let's just examine your disks. Uh, copy and file, so... Once this bit is done, I'll be back with you guys. Well, it depends how fast it is. Later in the video, just thought I'd tell you, I met Brad and Dale from the block today. Um, yeah, there's Dale, there's me, and there's Brad. Yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. While we're waiting for this, let's uh, 
take a quick look through this, shall we? So, uh, Windows XP Home Edition. Um, yeah. This, you guys can pause it if it's, if you can read it. Uh, I don't think you can, so. Just pause it if you want to read it, guys. Yeah. Contents. Oh. Oh, hang on. My computer we will reboot in so in uh, that many seconds. Good to know. You know what? I'm not going to go through this. So I might photocopy it. Not photocopy it. Uh, scan it and put it on my Facebook page and or website so you guys can check that out. Here we are rebooting. Giga nipple. Don't know why I call it that, but eh, whatever. Windows XP Home Edition. See, that's green. Ain't that cool? With uh, other copies of XP, or every other copy except for uh, Service Pack 1, it's blue, as we all should know, but this green is it's pretty cute. Wow. This screen resolution is pretty swag. I wish Windows 7 did that, although it took around about 5 minutes for me to install 7 on uh, that lay custom built. But, um, yeah, apparently it's got 39 minutes, so I'm gonna go, um, yep. This yeah. brings back memories, like, first time, oh, there you go, read that one. There you go. As I was saying, the first time I installed Windows XP, it was, um, to my first of oh, I'm sorry guys, but sorry to change subject, but wow, look at how black that is. It's gonna freaking pour. Oh, you got something going. Yep, I accept. I'll tell you guys a story later. Okay, it's now later. Yeah, um, first time I installed Windows XP, it, that was my first ever time to install Windows on anything. I was upgrading. My Compact Presario 1200 laptop, that was my first ever laptop, I think my third computer. You'll find um, something on that on my website, link, link down below. And, um, yeah, the screen, you could hardly see it, so I had a Compact uh, CRT monitor, let's turn the volume up there. Compact CRT monitor, what's that right here, uh, I believe in this exact position, on... No, it wouldn't have been this desk. Could have been this desk. I actually can't remember. No, no, it wasn't because I remember it had something. Yeah, anyway. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Hmm, that made sense. As I was saying, read that. As I was saying, uh, first time installing Windows XP, I was upgrading XP. Ah, oh, sorry, to XP from Windows 98. Computer wasn't compatible with it, but do you think I care? Of course I don't. I did it anyway. It worked, but the hard drive blew up. Uh, name. Um. Oops. Yeah, I know I spelled it wrong. Done it purposely. If you know who Alexis Texas is, uh, leave a comment down below. You may have won something. Wow, I can't even spell my own name. Uh, it's really hard to, one, type with my left hand as I am a right handed. And, um. Porn rendering PC. Okay, I must have just hit enter accidentally. Installing network. Swag YOLO. So, yeah, Windows XP. I was so excited. Because, you know, blue. But now I want Windows 98. Um, I'm looking for an IBM Aptiva. Which was my first ever computer. Oh, I miss that computer so much. I really wish we didn't throw it out, but, you know, I was five years old or something like that. So, hmm. Uh, 
yeah, had an IBM Activa, and then, you know, computers got better and better. Got a compact Presario CQ56103 TU laptop. That was probably the best computer I've ever owned, excluding that one. And that, uh, the hard drive died, and I got that. $500 that thing cost. $500. Whereas this one cost $600 including postage. Now it's around about $1,200 with what I've done. So, um, yeah. Anyway. Sorry, you missed that one. So, installing start menu items, blah blah blah. This is going to be a really long video. I can, I can picture it now. It's going to take forever to upload. Because of Australian internet. I feel sorry for everybody in Australia. I'm taking that Windows XP sticker off. <laughs> I'm going to put it where it belongs on the printer. Good stick of that. I like that sticker. I'll be back. Windows Media Player 9. Amazing. Well, you guys can see a bad camera angle. I'm on my phone on Facebook. See? Anything else gonna happen? No? Sure, alright. Well, oh, here we go, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, nine minutes to go, which is complete bullshit. Saving settings. Uh, let's see where it takes us. I really hope you can't hear my computer right now. Because I know it is quite loud, but I put it down there because it used to be there, as we all know. And, um, yeah, because I don't want to keep my mum up all night when I'm on the internet looking at and um <laughs> yeah it just it does seem quieter for me because you know it was right there but it does seem quieter for me hmm. I'll be back when that's like there my good friend Ryan Garrett has a photo of that as well the former photo used to be in that exact spot oh we're doing something Like, rebooting? Yep, rebooting. Really hope it doesn't boot boot. That'd be a pain in the ass. I love how that was green. I remember being, a, being at a more light green butt, I think. But obviously not aches. Eh, well, I was a kid. So kids' memories don't work that well. That being said, my memory doesn't work that well. Sure, go for it. Sure, I can read that. I never remember the word home edition being there, but. Oh no, the sound drive is not working. Or maybe it didn't make noise then, I can't remember. Yeah, welcome to XP, thank you, thank you very much. First name. Me. Fuck you. Neck. Thank you. You're welcome. I really hope the sound works. Fingers crossed. I believe it's not working. Why? Oh, that's it. So, uh, I'm going to get the sound working. Alright, guys. Before I press that magical button, I'm just going to apologize for my bird. She's realized that I'm still in the house, so she has to squawk her head off. So, booting into Windows XP. Home Edition. This is the first boot after the install. And uh, still got that green. I like that green.
repair your ears. That was strange. <laughs> Ah, the memories. Pop. Take a tour of Windows XP. I think I might do that. Afterwards, but... Ah, wow, the memories, guys. Let's go into properties, back before... Right, back when it was called properties instead of personalization or whatever it is, or personalize. Um, this, whoops, stretch. This is one I always used to have, Azel or something like that. Uh, and then there was the Windows XP one, what I also liked, in professional. So, there's that. Um, but yeah, we'll just set it at Azel, or Azel, or whatever it is. Uh, screensaver. Standard Windows XP Home Edition one. I have that one at work. Uh, whoops, wrong one. Flower box. What's that? Boring. Yeah, I don't have graphics drivers installed, so it's probably gonna skit up or something. Oh well, I don't care. And yeah, well we all know what there is. Picture slideshow. Awesome. Appearance. There was. Can be the classic style or the XP style. I like the XP style. And it can be the standard blue, olive green, which I'm not a fan of, or silver. Which, back before Windows Vista came out, I always used to think this is what Vista looked like. And um, YouTube user Ninja Speakers, uh, back in year two, we always used to do this and say it's fake Vista or something like that. Like, Grade 2, coming in with like, what, 6, 7 years old? And yeah, we had Optima computers at school too, so... Yeah, it looks so much better than Windows 7. I miss XP. Ah. There we go, got 1920 by 1080. 32-bit. Uh, One thing I don't like about XP is it freezes a fair bit, but... Anyway, that's that. Uh, we'll go computer. Oh, sorry. My computer, back in the day. Speaking of which... Oops, that's not how you do it. Show on desktop. You can piss off. Ever since 98, I always had the My Computer thingo right there, the first thing on the desktop. Except for in Windows 7, I like to have uh, very clean. Uh, as I was saying, my computer. Yeah, we have games for some reason. The C drive, but local disk is a uh, one with Windows on it. I'm not quite sure why, but sure. Please ignore my phone, guys. Uh, control panel. Um, I used to like to switch a classic view, I still do on uh, Windows 7. Yeah, add remove programs, what do I have on here? I have so many programs. Let's see if, uh, we'll see what programs is installed. Here we have my name, Internet Explorer, Let's see if that works. Oh wow, it works. <laughs> there we go, Joel Madden. But, uh, wow, what's this? That IE. This is Internet Explorer 6. Oh my god, Internet Explorer 6. Holy shizzle. Let's try and load up Google. Okay, it runs through Bing. Did Bing exist back then? Google works, we'll try uh, YouTube. Oops. Your browser will be unsupported soon. So, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but that means it's still supported. So, um, search up an awesome channel. Um, 
Mighty Comments. You guys thought I was going to say my channel. My channel's not that awesome. I don't give two shits. Oh wow, installing Adobe. That wasn't uh, planned. I'm so thirsty. Hurry up! I'm trying to make a YouTube video. Yes, install. Thank you. Go away. Yeah, done. Fuck off. Okay, so, as you can tell, YouTube is tripping balls. Well, here we go. Um, We'll do uh, the newest one, repairing the MX-5. Oh, and here he says that YouTube no longer supports it. Okay, uh, well, that's enough of that. What do we have? We have Outlook Express, uh, just some random thing, MSN Explorer, Windows Media Player. Uh, this is Windows Media Player 9. Uh, yes, yes, finish. Wow, look at that, guys. Old. So old. Apparently, I can uh, do my Windows update still. Go away. Say, go away. Thank you. Our uh, Windows Messenger tour of XP, we will do that. Um, up here we just have those things, Windows Catalog thing, that's like the Microsoft Store now. Uh, up here we have accessories, sorry guys, scratch my ear. Uh, accessibility, whoops. Communications, entertainment. I thought CD player was in this. Hmm. And uh, here we have the original Movie Maker, which on my first ever YouTube channel, I can't remember what it's called, this is what I used to use to add photos together. I didn't do videos, I just put video photo thingos up. And such, uh, System Tools, got all that. Uh, system Restore, that was, that was really good. Uh, on Windows 7, not so much. Address Book, Calculator, Command Prompt, Notepad, Paint. I'm too lazy to read all that. Synchronize, Tour of XP, Windows Explorer, Wordpad. Yeah. I don't know why it did that. Uh, games, Freak Cell, Hearts, Internet, Backgammon, Backgammon, I don't know. Internet Checkers, Internet Hearts, Internet Reversi, Internet Spades, um, Afghanistan, sorry, yeah, Minesweeper, I misread that. Pinball, Solitaire, and Spider Solitaire. Pinball and Spider Solitaire, I loved those games. Um, I might play some of both of those later on, actually. Start up, we just said my wireless card. Again, my wireless card. IE, MSN Explorer, OE, Remote Assistance, Windows Media Player again, and just those two yet again. Uh, that's about it for there. So, uh, how about we take the tour of XP with the noise on? Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft, the new version of Windows that brings your PC to life. Experience the best. Experience Windows XP. See for yourself how easy Windows XP is to use. Take this brief tour. Safe and easy personal computing. Thanks to Windows XP, personal computing just got a whole lot easier and more fun. Unlock the world of digital media. Windows XP is your ticket to exciting digital media at home and on the internet. The connected home and office. Get connected. Windows XP makes it easy to share and link computers. To begin the tour, click any selection. Alrighty guys, so um, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna go get a tripod from somewhere. Or not. <laughs> design. Get acquainted with key and tasks doing and it basic itself. commands. The Windows Desktop. Using Windows XP is simple. First you'll see the large colored area on the screen called the Desktop. 
and the narrow band at the bottom called the taskbar. Everything you can do on your computer appears inside frames that are called windows. You can open as many windows at one time as you like and resize them, move them around, or restack them in any order. Icons. The small pictures you see on a desktop are called icons. Think of them as doorways to the files and programs stored on your computer. Place your mouse over an icon. Text appears identifying its name or contents. To open the file or program, double-click the icon. Shh. Shortcut icons, identified by the small arrow on the lower left, let you access programs, files, folders, disk drives, web pages, printers, even other computers. And because desktop shortcuts simply supply links to those files or devices, you can add and delete their icons without affecting the actual programs or files. The first time you start Windows XP, you'll see only one icon, the Recycle Bin, where you can send files you wish to delete from your computer. Taskbar. Every time you open a window, a button representing it appears on the taskbar, and it disappears when you close a window. The taskbar also contains the start button and notification area, where you'll see the clock. Other buttons can appear temporarily, showing the status of ongoing activities. For instance, the printer button appears when you send a file to the printer and disappears when printing is complete. You'll also be reminded here when new Windows updates are available to download from the Microsoft website. Windows XP keeps the taskbar tidy by consolidating buttons when too many accumulate. For example, buttons representing individual emails are automatically grouped under a single email button. Clicking the button lets you select an email from a convenient menu. The Start menu appeared automatically the first time you ran Windows XP. You can return to the Start menu anytime by clicking the Start button on the taskbar. The Start menu contains everything you need to begin using Windows. You can start programs, open files, customize your system, get help, search for items on your computer, and more. Some commands on the Start menu have a right-facing arrow. That means additional choices are available on a secondary menu. Place your pointer over an item with an arrow and another menu appears. The left side of the start menu updates with links to the programs you use most frequently. At the top left are fixed items, shortcuts to things like your internet browser and email program. Files and folders. Your computer is like a desk with file drawers. Each piece of work or file can be stored in a folder. Windows XP makes it easy to store files where they make the most sense. Place text, image, and music files in the folders titled My Documents, My Pictures, and My Music. They also offer convenient links to the tasks you'll perform most often. Windows display the contents of files and programs. Working with Windows is easy when you know the basics. The name of the window appears at the top in its title bar. Minimize a window to shrink it to a button on the taskbar. Maximize a window to fill the screen. Or restore it to its original size. Inside a window, browse the menus to see the different commands and tools you can use. When you find the command you want, just click it. If a program needs some information from you before it can complete a command, a dialog box appears. To enter information, you might click and type, select a choice in a list, choose just one option, or check off one or more options that you want. If the contents of your file don't fit in the window in one glance, simply scroll the window to move the contents up, down, or sideways, or drag the contents into view.
control panel. Customizing your computer settings is simple with the Windows XP control panel. Just open it from the start menu. Here's where you can change the way Windows XP looks and acts. Add and remove programs or hardware devices, set up network connections, user accounts, and more. Ending your session. When you want to interrupt your Windows session and let someone else use the computer, go to the Start menu. That's where you can log off and switch users, and Windows XP will be ready to welcome a different user. When everyone's finished, you can turn off the computer. The next time you log on, the welcome screen will be the first you'll see. Just click your name, type your password if you have one, and you'll be back at the Windows desktop. Those basics. Add a basic. Windows XP makes personal computing easy and enjoyable. Power, performance, a bright new look. Faster, smarter, safer. Windows XP packs the punch you need for top performance and enjoyment. You get all the power and dependability of Microsoft's most advanced operating system technology. And to ensure your version of Windows XP is always the very latest, automatic updates are available at your command from the Microsoft website. Windows XP delivers greater dependability and increased efficiency. Windows XP works harder, so you can work smarter. Easier to learn and use. Windows XP brings a brand new visual style to your computer. Friendly, fresh, and streamlined. Cleaner lines, richer colors, smarter organization, easier ways to get where you want to go and do what you want to do. The simplified start menu automatically puts your most frequently used programs in plain view, never more than one click away. The updated taskbar organizes files on the fly. An automatic cleanup wizard keeps everything on the desktop neat and tidy. Better help for every task. Windows XP's all-new Help and Support Center is your one-stop shop for clear how-to instructions, engaging start-to-finish articles, troubleshooting advice, free product updates, and more. Find out everything you want to know about Windows XP and your computer. Should you ever need it, you can allow a support professional or a knowledgeable friend to view your screen and fix a problem for you. Special wizards give you instructions to smooth the way when connecting new devices and running new software. Delete an important file? Download a program you wish you hadn't? Use Windows XP's improved System Restore to turn back the clock and restore your system to the way it was before. Unlock the exciting world of digital media at home. At Built-in photo sharing and organization. With Windows XP, viewing photos and sharing them with friends, family, and colleagues couldn't be easier. Just plug in your digital camera and your photos appear instantly, ready for you to edit, email, or print. You can even publish images directly to a website or save them on CD or send them to an online retailer for professional quality prints. Playing music, video, and CDs. Like listening to music and watching videos? Windows XP includes Windows Media Player, so it's a cinch to tune in internet radio, download music or movies from the web, and watch streaming and video broadcasts. Of course, you can also play your own CDs. Windows Media Player makes it easy to create your own customizable jukebox. Just copy your personal CDs onto your computer or download music from the internet. Arrange selections in any order you want. Store the playlist and the computer will play your selections back, one after another in any order you choose, anytime you like. 
You can even make your own CDs. Wow. I'm on my phone, not even paying attention. <laughs> Optimize for games and DVDs. Oh. The latest DirectX technology gives you the enhanced power, performance, and reliability that makes Windows XP great for playing computer games. Mm -hmm. Networking and internet features let you challenge competitors across the hall or across the globe. Swag, son. Enjoy watching DVDs, too. The next time you and your laptop share an airplane trip, I don't why not take one, along but... one or two of your favorites to watch instead of the in-flight movie? Share files, photos, music, even a printer and internet connection. All no on thanks. a network that's private and secure. Oh, wait, I'll do something, don't I? Whoops. Multiple users, a cinch to switch. With Windows XP, it's easier than ever to share a single computer among several users. Each person using the computer can create a separate password-protected account with personalized settings and private files. Multiple accounts can be live on the computer at the same time. Switching back and forth is fast and simple. If someone wants to check email while you're working, they simply switch over to their account. There's no need for you to close your programs and log off. The other user won't see your files while they're working, and when you switch back, you won't see theirs. You'll find the screen exactly as you left it. Networks, powerful and practical. Is there more than one computer in your home or office? Connecting them into a network boosts the abilities of every computer on the system. Make team efforts out of big projects like creating reports and spreadsheets. Free up space on smaller computers. Centralize large files like photos and music on one computer where they can be shared by everyone, even at the same time. Play multiplayer computer games on a whole new level with each player on a separate computer. Save money by sharing hardware. Network computers can share the same printer, scanner, fax, even the same internet connection. Family members can surf the web at the same time from different computers, all on the same phone line or other service. Let the wizard do the work. You don't need to be an expert. A wizard steps you through the entire process of setting up a network for your home or small business. Answer a few questions about the computers you wish to link, and the wizard does the rest. Once your network is up and running, Windows XP stays on the job, tracking changes and making adjustments automatically, so you'll always get the best performance with the least effort. Data protection inside and out. Windows XP contains powerful new features designed to keep fuck? your computer network running no matter what. Sophisticated protection software guards each computer's operating Oi. system. Oi, dickhead. It also establishes a protective barrier, or firewall, that shields the entire network from outside hackers and viruses spread over the internet. Windows XP Aww, for Microsoft, it's finished. the new version of Windows that brings your PC to life. Experience the best. Experience Windows XP. Okay. See for yourself how easy Windows XP is. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that's about it for this video, and uh, if you've stuck around long enough, um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. Oh, wow. I was pretty much asleep then, but on my phone, not paying any attention. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will see you in the next video. And uh, rest in peace, Microsoft Windows XP. Let's shut it down now.